Hey everyone, it's Marie. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. I'm going to show you how I did this card and I'm doing another one today in a similar style. I like to kind of call this stamping silhouette stamping because I'm stamping the images in a dark color, um, which is giving it a silhouette look. So I'm using the Altenew Dainty Bouquets stamp set along with the label love and I'm going to make a similar card. I've, I've made a few slight changes to the card that I'm going to be making um, but it's pretty much the same technique so if you're excited to see this make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's make a card. So I'm getting my card base ready. I'm putting it into my Misty and I'm just keeping it in place with the magnet. Now one thing I really like about the Altenew stamp sets is they come with layering guides if it's a layering stamp set. So it takes the guesswork out of where you need to put each stamp. I'm not really doing any layering on this card because I'm just stamping it in black and it's really hard to get um, that variation in color when you're using black. So I'm not really doing any layering. Now the first card I showed you in the beginning, I did do a little bit of layering. And if you want a softer look, um, use a lighter gray or a darker gray, and then use the layering pieces with a black. So you can get that variation in color. You get a gray tone on tone flower. Um, but right now I'm just using black. This is black. So there's going to be no layering happening on this card. It gives it that really strong, crisp silhouette look though. And if you think of a silhouette in photography, it's when you have a really strong um, backlight. So the light is behind the subject. So the subject is actually blocking out the light and you get that black silhouette. Um, so that's kind of my inspiration for this card and just creating this scene. I'm going to be doing some ink blending as well using some sunset colors. So I think it's really pretty. So I'm using the other bouquet from the stamp set. I'm using both of them. There's two little bouquets here that layer. One's got that rose and one's got a little bit more um, branches coming out of them. And I just like to keep turning these stamps to see where they fit. It's kind of like piecing a puzzle together. And so I'm turning them to see where they're going to lay across my page. And I'm going to fill up the background by stamping a pattern. So I'm just going to kind of see where I want it to fit, make sure my cardstock is magneted down, and then arrange my stamps around there. And I do stamp these images about two or three times to make sure it's nice and crisp. And sometimes in your Misty, you are going to have to move around your cardstock a little bit um, so that you can accommodate extra room for the stamps. So you can see here I'm aligning my cardstock at the top now so I can get some stamps at the bottom. And I don't need to stamp the whole image, I just want some of the edges coming onto my cardstock. So I'm just getting my head over there making sure it's lined up so I apologize for the hair shot. Um, but sometimes I do have to get right over my project to make sure everything's lined up. So I've got this last stamp that I'm going to do and I was a little bit disappointed in this one because you can kind of see as I lift the door my cardstock moves a little bit and I did not account for that so I kind of got a double stamp up in that corner. Now it's not noticeable very much when you get your ink blending on and I'm going to go ahead and ink blend now. I'm going to turn on a little bit of music for you so you can just watch the ink blending. And if you want to skip the ink blending, just skip to about 624 or maybe 630 and you'll be able to skip all this ink blending. But I wanted to leave it in so I could kind of show you the time and the effort that goes into ink blending a really nice background.
right, so my ink blending is now done. I don't know if you can see the colors that I use, but I use scattered straw on the bottom, candied apple in the middle, and seedless preserves on the top. And if you're interested in any of the items that I'm using in this video, I have them linked down below in the description box. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. So we're going to move on. I am taking this Label Love stamp set. I really love these sentiments. They're easy to stamp out and add to your card. I'm going to go ahead and choose about three of these and stamp them out with some more of that black ink. And these are great because they're really easy to just cut out by your by fussy cutting, you know, hand cut them. Um, so they're really easy to cut out some sentiments and pop them up on your card front. I'm using a little piece of scrap paper for my um, stamping since I'm going to cut them out. And I'm using the same black ink that I used for my silhouette stamping. Now you're going to have to stamp these several times to get a nice impression. And sometimes I've found that if I get a little bit of ink down into those letter areas, it will kind of cover up your sentiment. But I'm going to show you how you can kind of remedy that problem. It's a really easy fix. Um, so don't feel like you're doing it wrong. Don't, don't feel like you have to throw these away and start over. You can fix that problem quite easily. Now, like I mentioned, these are really simple to cut out. All you have to do is take your scissors, a fussy cut along the sides. They're just straight edges. I'm leaving a little bit of a white border, but you can just cut right into that black if you want, if you don't want a border at all. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut all three of these out. And I'm going to show you how I kind of fixed those little sentiment areas that got covered with some ink. So if you have a white gel pen, this is really easy. I just took my gel pen, make sure it was writing on a piece of scrap paper. And again, I'm gonna get my head right over here so I can see what I'm doing. And you just wanna fill in those lines with the white gel pen. Just be careful to fill in, follow the lines of the sentiment. And nobody's even gonna notice that you kind of touched these up a bit. But I would say a white gel pen in your stash is a really handy thing to have to fix these little mistakes or even add some highlights to stamped images. I really like my gel pens. I've had them for a long time. They're still working and they're great for adding detail for colored images and doctoring up your little sentiments that didn't quite stamp correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop up these sentiments on some foam adhesive and that finishes the card. So I hope you enjoyed today's cards. I hope this gives you some ideas on how to do some of your own silhouette stamping. You don't have to use this particular stamp set. You can use anything that you have. So go for it. This is quick and easy. Stamp, um, ink blend, slap on a sentiment and you will have a card that you can send to someone. So here are those two cards side by side. I hope you can see the difference in the black ink versus the gray and black layering. I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, tap the bell for notifications, and just do all the things. Have a great day, guys. Bye.